It's no surprise that we all have dreams of being treasure hunters. We're always on the lookout for valuable discoveries without realizing how it can change our own path. Check out this next story about an ordinary beach trip that ended up with a house in quarantine and a changed life. What exactly happened? What did he find? Keep watching to find out. Stephen Witten lives in Overton, England, and loves going for walks at nearby Middleton Sands Beach with his wife Viola. It's their favorite beach in Lancashire, and they are blessed with a breathtaking view of the Irish Sea, just a short walk away from their home. They usually love to walk around uncrowded, unpopular places. However, Middleton Sands Beach was far from that. It's typically a crowded beach with hikers, beachgoers, and dog owners. Stephen and Viola didn't like the thought of being surrounded by people as they tried to go for a calming walk. Despite the crowds, they still loved this beach. One day, Stephen and Viola went for what they thought was going to be a normal beach walk. They had visited before and nothing seemed wrong. However, while they were staring at the ocean, Stephen noticed that something looked off. He realized that the smell was unpleasant. He had no idea what the strange smell was, and a few minutes later, everything changed. They said it smelled like rotten fish, but it was stronger than anything they had smelled on the beach before. Stephen and Viola were so curious to figure out what the smell was coming from. They continued to walk around the beach, both looking around in various directions to see if they could find something. After searching for a while, they noticed a lump. It seemed to be a grayish color and a bit smaller than a rugby ball. As they walked closer to this lump, the smell grew stronger and stronger. They realized that whatever this was, that's where their smell was coming from. This weird foul-smelling rock that was the size of a football had washed up onto the shore by the powerful waves. The exterior of the rock seemed to have been brushed smooth by potentially years of tumbling through the water. They had never seen anything like this before. What had they found? Stephen knelt down to get a better look at the rock. He reached to touch it very gently. Previously, he had read books in the news articles about weird things that had washed up on the beach in this area of England. Throughout all of his research, he had never seen or heard anything about a foul-smelling rock being found ashore. This new discovery of unknown origin got them even more curious. He carefully smelled the rock and determined that he had never smelled anything like this before in his life. Being a frequent beachgoer and living by the sea, Stephen is used to the smell of the beach and fish. However, this was unlike any other smell on the beach. He says the smell of the rock was almost unbearable, but seemed to have a familiar quality to it. He best put it as the smell was like a mix of a squid and farmyard manure. What started out as an ordinary day, walking on their ordinary beach would completely change their life. As Stephen and Viola stood on the beach, looking at the rock, they talked about what they should do. They were trying to determine if they should leave it behind because of its strong smell or bring it home with them to investigate further. What do you think they did? Stephen and Viola had dreamed of winning the lottery or getting rich one day. They saw this strange smelly rock as a treasure, and they wanted to figure out what fortunes it may hold. They were hoping that this rock would turn out to be something valuable. They decided to bring the rock home with them. Stephen wrapped the rock up carefully with Viola's scarf. He did this for two reasons. He wanted to make sure that the rock was safe and that no one would see it as they were on their way back home. He was so excited to get home and research even more about what he discovered. As soon as they got home, Stephen went looking for his fisherman's scale and he weighed the strange smelly rock. It weighed 3.5 pounds. This got Stephen and Viola even more excited. However, Stephen couldn't figure out anything else about the rock. He tried researching online, reading articles, looking through books, but he couldn't come up with what this was. He thought the best idea would be to ask around, to see if anyone online knew. He posted a picture in an online community on Facebook. He couldn't believe his eyes as he watched so many comments roll in just minutes after he posted. People were commenting so fast that he could hardly keep up the online community wanted to voice their thoughts and ideas about where this rock came from. There were many people that thought it was a piece of volcanic rock that came from somewhere deep in the ocean, turned up by the waves. Others thought that this looked like a meteor that came barreling through our atmosphere from outer space. One person who identified as an amateur meteorologist suggested that Stephen should try the magnet test on the rock. This person really thought they were convinced that their answer was right, but every one of the commenters were wrong. 
Stephen was later interviewed on local news about his discovery. He explained that the rock felt like a hard rubber ball, just like a candle. It had a very waxy texture. He described that when you touch it, wax would stick to your fingers. Any ideas why this could be? When Stephen tried the magnet test earlier on and the magnet didn't stick, he knew that something wasn't right. The magnet test is a convenient way to know if something is metal. Scientists have proven that imitation gold and other metals are magnetic and will always attract the magnet. Using a magnet allowed Stephen to rule out a few possibilities of what this rock could be. The magnet has confirmed that this rock did not have any iron material present. This wasn't a meteorite or any type of normal rock. Stephen began to feel extra cautious. He wasn't sure what this rock was or if it would be a danger to his family. Stephen felt that he had no idea what he was doing and that he had no clue as to what the right direction would be. He wasn't even sure if this was a safe material to have in his home. Soon after, he made a phone call and that's when people in protective equipment started showing up at his house. Stephen appreciated the help from the online community, but he still had no idea what this was. He wanted the experts to come and help him and handle this appropriately. Much to their shock, two men showed up at Stephen and Viola's house and immediately quarantined the house. Stephen and Viola were not allowed inside their house while this was going on. The man put on full protective equipment and went inside to search for the rock. All Stephen and Viola could do is stand outside and wait. Officials have found a lump inside a box on the dining room table. After examining the rock, they went outside and told Stephen and Viola the surprising startling news. Stephen and Viola did their best to understand what was going on, but they couldn't help but feel worried and anxious about the new discovery. They were so relieved when the officials told them what they had picked up wasn't hazardous or dangerous. They were shocked to discover that this rock was actually ambergris. What is ambergris? Keep watching to learn more. Ambergris is a highly coveted, highly valuable substance and has been for centuries. It's known for being really smelly. Hence Stephen's description of a fusion between a squid and farmer manure. Over time, this strong smell will become sweet and historically, this substance was used in making perfumes. So where does it come from? Ambergris actually comes from whales. It's produced in their bile ducts and then it's excluded. Even though that does sound pretty gross, this is a rare and unique find that is worth a fortune. Sperm whales are the only species of whales that produce ambergris. They can be found in oceans all around the world, including along the coast of Britain. These are huge whales that can grow to be up to 67 feet long and weigh over 63 tons. In the past, sperm whales were commonly haunted. Their blubber was used to make things like candles, soaps, oils, or even pencils. The ambergris was gathered and used to make perfumes. However, during the 1980s, a new ban was introduced that made whaling illegal. Ambergris was also included in this. Even though we just learned that ambergris comes from sperm whales, not all sperm whales are able to produce it. Only 1% of the sperm whale population can produce this as strange as it is. Most of the world's ambergris can be found in the Atlantic Ocean. In some countries around the world, it is illegal to trade ambergris. Whilst in UK, it's considered a waste product and is illegal to trade. So how much was their smelly rock worth? $65,000. Not bad for something found on the beach one day. Best lump of well waste would be the ticket to Stephen and Viola's dreams. They'd use the money to buy a static caravan, just like we always dreamed of, said Stephen. Be sure to share this story with someone who might want to do some treasure hunting of their own. You never know what you might wake up one morning to find. Life can surprise us at any time, that's for sure. Next time you see something and you have no idea what it are, do some research. There could be amazing treasures not just hidden but disguised in the most unusual of curiosities. You just have to keep looking, especially with a little hard work, and maybe help from a long lost relative. If you enjoyed hearing about Stephen Viola and their once in a lifetime discovery, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. We hope that they have a positive impact on you.